Hello, and welcome to the Magistrat on Mundanus, episode 12, Primark Pizza, Emperor Be Praised. Delta Squad gets time off and a task from their benefactor, and the opposition is wholly unprepared for a Delta Squad unrestrained by the thin veneer of judicious moderation they display while in uniform. So I hope you guys enjoy what is in store for this episode. So, uh, last time around, you guys had a bit of an adventure. You were told by command that if you camped your head down and you did your job, you might get a few days off. An amazing possibility, if true. However, there is the matter of turning in what you found so far. Last time around, you beat the ever-loving shit out of a mid-tier gang, supposedly in talks, and cahoots with somebody pretending to be a high-level planetary merchant. On the man, you found a letter and several satchels. You have him handcuffed, and everyone else is quite dead or dying. You know that this will be an easy win. If you can get him home alive, perhaps soon you will have your days off. So at current, you've got the guy. You, well, as you as you remember, or as if you don't, um, just as a refresher, you guys got a call. You went down to this area. You started a gunfight with everyone in this building. Mike knocked on the doors a lot, and it worked to trick people in. You found a yeah, guy. Hey. Yeah, you you found a guy passing himself off as a fake merchant, um, a higher class merchant, but he certainly wasn't. And he he had a few satchels with him. The gang seemed to be doing business with him. You didn't pick up the particulars. In fact, you just made everyone dead. But um, the the guy himself, you you did manage to uh, subdue and arrest the gentleman. Um, and, and, and did get him to admit his, uh, criminal actions. Now all you gotta do is get him home and claim those beautiful few days of work away from work. I'm like trying to figure out like, where, where are we sitting right now? Like what's, so you get, are we still inside the building? Yeah. You're all, yeah, okay. Game on, on the screen. Yeah, yeah. So let's, let's say you're all still inside the building. You've got this guy handcuffed. Uh, you've got him in standard fuck you. I'm in charge handcuff, uh, position, which means his forehead is holding him upright <laughs> and his arms are deeply behind his back and his legs are straining to support him. Um, you, you have gotten all of the nice big bags of whatever he was trying to, uh, unleash on the street, big satchels filled with weighty metallic sounding things. And, uh, you're just standing there having aired everyone else. You, you see through the glints of bullet holes in the building, you smell cordite and blood and you're starting to hear the buzzing of flies. So this is usually the part where Lieutenant Kelso is a captain yells at me. No one has so far. We haven't called it in, have we? <laughs> no, you have not. <laughs> Sergeant, sh should I should I call this in? Uh, yes, take take a friend. That's okay. quite a victory, boys. I think we're uh, I think we're gonna get this one in the bag. G G seventeen G seventeen. This is Delta. G seventeen. Go ahead, send traffic. Uh, suspect found. Um, at l ten to. Fifteen. You hear him counting in the back. Eleven. <laughs> one in custody. Well. <laughs> um, and then he starts listing off all like the financial like fraud and like forgeries and shit that he did, like going into like the nitty gritty autistic detail. I uh, think at, at the end of all of it, he's like, uh, "Copy, got that. Uh, suspect in custody. Rest has been remitted to garbage. Over." Oh, okay. Garbage is going to pick this up. No, I'm not going to write all that down. My note sheet is three by five. Okay. Uh, do you want us to just bring the suspect to, to Central? That is typically what law enforcement officers do, yes. Right, right. Writes, just writes that down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank now, you. On the way back to Central, uh, over, over and out. Sounds good. Drive safe. Over. <laughs> all right, he just hangs up. <laughs> All right, Central wants us to bring the the fat guy back so we can book him. Yeah, the, uh, I the, think they said the garbage people are going to pick up the corpses, so don't worry about it. Ah, excellent. Yeah, the, the trash uh, collection in my city. <laughs> yeah, just maybe take the guns so, like, you know, kids don't just go and grab them. That could be a 
detrimental to overall productivity in this in this district. Are you kidding me? Those kids would be out front going "beow beow" like in five minutes. <laughs> this yeah. is this is the <laughs> this is. That's right. what I'm saying. We take the guns from the dead people. So like, how do you think I got so good like, with guns? Loot them. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I found another one. <laughs> Look, it's a playground gun. Beow beow. <laughs> yeah, when I was a little kid, there was guns all over the place. Have we searched any of the bodies? Uh, you have not, other than kicking them to ensure they are still not drawing breath. I'm searching yeah, okay. them for dope. Oh! Well, didn't we? Me. What do I roll? Didn't that one guy give up? Yeah, the guy the, the, so the fact, like, like the merchant stuff? guy had, like, a bunch of forged stuff and carried Well, no, I, I blew through the front door, just turned one guy into a canoe, and then pointed the gun at the other guy, and he was like, I'm done. Yeah. Oh yeah, then yeah, we we must have cuffed him too. Yeah, he's he's he he is alive. Yes, in the physical sense of the word, he's he's a little <laughs> shook. It'll never be the same. After you this. did just kill everyone he knows. <laughs> You're like, hey, how's it going, friend? I just murdered everyone you know three generations in. But what do you say? So, what are you guys looking for? Mike wants to find dope. Uh, I want to find more evidence of forgeries or like white collar crime shit. Basically, all like, right. I'm, they're looking through all their money. Like, is this? Is this? Are, are these coins up to spec? I don't see any ridges on this coin. Do you, where's the fucking you know little bits it's of been sh gold shavings? It's okay. You know what? Uh, go ahead and uh, roll perception or scrutiny. Or do you have anything? I'd, I'd like to determine what gang we just rolled over. <laughs> okay, so let's let's do these one at a time. Mike, you're looking for dope. That's gonna be uh, let's, I, I would say just straight perception because <laughs> their effects are everywhere. <laughs> I rolled I just 98 look... for search. One second. Sorry. Go ahead, and Dings. Can I look for food or drink? You may. It's a bar. It's, this is a bar, so the answer is going to be yes if you're looking for specific qualities. Looking for higher end stuff. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, uh, go. You find nothing. In fact, you find so much nothing in your search of coins. You're not sure why you arrested this man in the first place. Oh, right. I already put the coins away, and all the dead people were broke. Right. Uh, next. Uh, let's see. Crow. You start looking for drugs, and you keep looking for drugs. And yeah. before long, you realize you don't realize you don't remember what you were looking for. You become somewhat lost. However, I, looking okay. for drugs and the act of looking for drugs does make you feel more at home here. So it's not no, a complete loss. I just loss. look around. I'm like, don't worry, boys. We'll find the dope. I'm an optometrist about these kinds of things. Glasses half empty. All right, Dings. Last is filled with four. You reach behind the bar like a practiced boozeaholic. You reach under the bar, and just by feel reaching behind there, you pluck out a fine bottle of wine with a label you can't pronounce, and you're fairly certain no human tongue can. This is how they found out I was a psych. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, ta-da! I got it. <laughs> I found a wine. Yeah, you I'm have a very fancy. My... I'm going to put that away. Please do. <laughs> Just put fancy wine, me... parentheses, unknown. <laughs> do you want me to exception or scrutiny? Whichever. Okay. You are trying to figure out which gang this is. So let's do. Yeah, looking okay, for gang tattoos. Let's say scrutiny. Okay. No modifier. I fucked it. I'm staring at a gang tat like, I don't know what it means. <laughs> You're like, what does it mean? And it has, like, literally the name of their gang and their address. Yeah. yeah. So, like, Sons of Hell, I'm like, I do not know this language. It perplexes me. <laughs> <laughs> what, <laughs> what you are able to deduce uh, is, even though you cannot tell the exactitude, it seems like a lot of these guys came from different crews and groups that were kind of more recently assembled together. Um, kind of the scraps, the underdogs. None of these people seem to be very well affiliated with anything, but you also fuck up a lot and you tend to think you recognize some of them, but then you realize that's impossible and an awkward moment, so you just kind of stand there and stare at them. Because I've killed everyone I've ever met. Yeah, so you're just like, oh, is that a guy from the... No. Maybe. <laughs> After much deduction, I have determined that none of these men are midgets. This is Nazi Underhill gang. 
you you have done well. They are not halflings. You very deductive science. But policeman officer. <laughs> yeah, Ricky just looks kind of like, yeah, this is very perplexing. <clears throat> what right. happened here? Well, you, you, you. He says with both guns smoking in his hand. Yeah, you're just, you're just like walking around with both guns in your hands, just like, what happened here? Yeah. Well, you killed everyone. No, see, here's the thing. I didn't kill everybody. The bullets from my gun killed everybody. Uh, I was sitting right over here, and the bullets went over there. You are a true. Don't kill people. I do. <laughs> Way to go, Ricky. I love, I love that. Uh, that's a. John Lajoie classic right there. It is. Yeah. If you guys would like, you can try to sort through the coins or try to figure them out amongst yourselves as a group effort. But first I was going to ask, what's Griglack doing? Griglack has been quiet since the fight started. Griglack wait for more things to smash. Oh, I see. So Griglack's just doing the Sierra waiting game thing where they just stand there and do an idle animation. Just <clears throat> in case anybody gets back up. Mm. He's using a parser. Griglack should check to see if any of these men's pants survived the fight. There you go. You can, you can always. <laughs> Seeing as you're still wearing the ripped pair. The, all, all of Griglack's clothes eventually become loincloths. Just slowly by force of action. Um, so let's see. If if you guys would like, you can try to take a look at the coins, or you can yell at the guy who is handcuffed against the wall, um, or you can just fuck it and try to go for your enjoyable time off. That's your choice. Well, I would say this mystery is a little bit above my pay grade and my mental capacity, so I'm still looking for drugs. <laughs> Like I don't see more bad guys to shoot, so I'm looking for dr I'm looking for dope, looking for for cigarettes. I'm looking for all right. You can make booze. You, you can make. Oh, there's plenty of alcohol behind the bar. It's just all shit. It's all really shit. Like I, I'm I'm talking like the bottom of the bottom wells in Sierra Leone. This is this is this is bad alcohol. You don't want to drink this. It comes in like a five gallon jerry can and it has like it blown has up an expiration date. Yeah, it has an expiration date and it has like a <laughs> it has a blown up JPEG of like an image on the side. Like it's badly upscaled. I'm gonna drink it. All right. Um yes. so you're gonna you're gonna go find one of them plastic five gallon jerry cans and you're gonna just mm -hmm. pop the I'm top. Pour it into a glass first. Oh, of course. It's as you pour it into a glass, your eyes begin to water, and you smell hints of vapor, ketones, and um, what you believe to be paint thinner. Mm. The, the, the vapors aren't visible. It is, in fact, a potent beverage. The glass you poured it in has become clean, amazingly. I foot fodder that down. <laughs> yeah, uh, let me see. What do we got to water it down? Uh, and then he grabs a beer and pours it in there. Oh. Uh. Oh, okay. So, so you're making a mixed I'm drink. Going for one of those eighty-proof beers. <laughs> <laughs> no, officer, I'm fine. Car in Lake. Um, so <laughs> you're gonna need to roll. You're gonna need to roll a toughness. Oh, a toughness. Okay. Yeah, at like I'm a tough guy. Remember when Carouse was a skill? I remember when Carouse was a skill. The ability to resist damage by drinking. That was a great skill. Uh, so you fail by seven degrees. So Ricky raises his glass and looks through the, the clear liquid in the sunsy beer he's poured atop it, which is now split into two completely different liquids piggybacking <laughs> off one another and he's he's just swirling it and admiring it and he raises a toast and he knocks it back yeah my condiments to the chef and he is flat on the floor asleep before the bottle is empty <laughs> just yeah down falls over three stooges style <laughs> <laughs> pussy yeah like <laughs> <laughs> the the truck before he damages anything else the guy handcuffed to the wall <laughs> is like what happened don't worry about him worry about me he, he goes <laughs> he also <laughs> takes a drink 
is this where you're like, we need backup, and then you all do shots? All, yeah, we're all we're all on the ground when they show up. We just them. Officer down. I drank the JPEG whiskey. <laughs> Mom found the JPEG whiskey. Oh, oh. Mom found the piss drawer. Yeah, mom found the whiskey drawer. <laughs> Man, this is cursed. So, um, yeah, Mike is asleep. The guy against the wall is getting restless. And uh, the gentleman you tried to talk to outside, by the way, the one that was still alive, all he did was shiver and look at you. He seemed not inclined to speak and somewhat horrified. Is it by me or... Yes, but the three stooges, the five stooges, just rolled into his yeah, uh, yeah, his I, bar, shot everybody up, and then they're like rummaging through shit. One of them <laughs> drinks the fuck the JPEG whiskey and falls over. I would be afraid for my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're obviously all maniacs. I mean, he must have seen me calling us. Yeah, so we cuff someone, so we're supposed to bring them in, right? <laughs> the phone at the bar rings. All right. Could you get set? I need to speak with our man here. Uriah picks it up and he he almost reflexively says, uh, Depart- Clerical Department Sub B3 of Press M. Sorry. Yeah, hello? There's a dull, long click, as though lines are being rerouted through many other switchboards to conceal the location from which the call came. And you hear, Fiddle Dee, Fiddle Dee, Fiddle Dee Dee. You have taken something from me. Yeah? You are not wise. Really? Um, sorry, for, for High Gothic, please, please press 2. <laughs> There's a pause. And he goes, tell me, have you heard of the name Tommy Splinter Shins? Because um, you will be most acquainted soon. I have heard the name Tommy Splinter Shins. What the, does that mean, Tex? The line goes dead. No, no, I've, I've seen that out of character. I know, the line goes oh. dead. Yeah, you, you start realizing from what you've heard or managed to piece together that uh, you have possibly just been called by the gentleman who's been trying to kill you. Is he toying with you or not? You may not know. Well, word travels fast, guys. Um, the, the, the halflings already know what's going on. Excellent. We should not die. Can, can, we, go, can we go back to central? Across the wall as I carry him <laughs> Oh god, so you just like grab his face and you're like, come on, let's go and you're like, come on, let's go. Across the wall? Just, oh! Yeah, across across the wood paneling in this shitty dive bar. That's horrible. That's horrible. Alright, so you are managing to pile up everything you can into the vehicle. Are you gonna try to tank the weapons of the 30 or so on people you murdered? <laughs> Yeah, we'll just or put them in like a. Visible ones, yeah, we'll yeah. just put them in like a big plastic bag and just <laughs> throw it into the throw it in the back. What about Ricky? Uh, uh, Ricky goes I'm not on gonna... top of the guns. It's what he would have wanted. <laughs> <laughs> so you just have like a garbage bag of guns and you lay Ricky on top of them, and you have a bleeding guy handcuffed in the back. All right. Yeah, I've got the bleeding guy in our uh, our fake merchant like actually seated and strapped into the seats in back handcuffs still of course of course as as you are roughing the guy into the seat you notice that there is a letter protruding from the hem of his pants as though he had been trying to hide it in there i slap him say no contraband in the vehicle and remove it (laughs) Okay, okay. Once it reached the thresholds, this became another crime. Add this to his charges, <laughs> yeah, Yes, and just writing down possession. Smu- attempt to smuggle yeah, contraband uh, into Magistrato Mundane's property facility. facility. <laughs> All right, so so you 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 now have this guy's letter. I can't read this and hand it to you. <laughs> All right. Is it in high gothic? It is in high gothic. Uh, okay. I made an assumption that it would be. Yeah. I was going to say the surgeon can't read it all. <laughs> hey, what does the letter say? You, you realize that the letter is taped and hurriedly so. It's been taped fairly heavily. 
Oh, wait, it's and, like those uh, like ransom notes where it's like they tape letters from. Like, no, no, magazines. no. It's it's just been taped on the outside to make it watertight. And ah, it says okay. in flowing script open when done. Well, this guy's done. So I'm <laughs> you just say that to him as you're like sitting there smoking like you're fucking done. Yeah. <laughs> Wait until the captain finds you. Oh, yeah. She she angry. <laughs> um, it, She's angry at me, but you're the one she'll be beating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you you uh, you tear it open and uh, it it looks like this letter was taped up in a hurry, kind of like a bunch of people, or they had been doing a lot of these letters at once and taping them in a similar manner from like, like a... Like there was somebody knocking on the door who may or may not be who they said they were. Correct. Um, <laughs> however, on the outside of the letter, when you tear the tape away, you realize it says G17 in sloppy handwriting. Oh, no. What does the rest of the letter say? On the inside of the letter, letter uh, in high gothic, in high gothic script, it says, spread these far and wide, then return. The principal matter must be secured. This is ancillary. Don't forget the mission. Um, he re I read this out loud as I read it. I I'm think these might be the people that killed our predecessors. Excellent. Wh what Mariah. do you mean, excellent? <laughs> <laughs> I still need to have the conversation. <laughs> excellent. Dan, it's the better way you said he's like, indeed, sir. Remember when you guys blew up a part of the city? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. That wasn't us. That was not us. Remember when we just yeeted people into an open sewer to drown? Well, that would have delayed you several minutes, wouldn't <laughs> it? My orders were not to take prisoners. It was to stop the disturbance and they stopped. Well, I will say this. You do have one guy in cuffs and you've arrested so few people that you've almost forgotten what it feels like. So <laughs> this well, we've got we've got the two people in cuffs because we've got bleedy McBleedy pants. As well, well, you've got the guy who was arrested with the knockoff coins, and you've got the other guy who you could have walked him into traffic and left him there, and he would have just stood until the lights claimed him. He is that out of it. He is he is like catatonic fucked yeah, up. No. Because no, I, that's I, the I, guy that got psychic powers. -ed? Watched everyone die in front of him and then got psychic powers again. So he's seen psychic shit for the first time in his life, in his face, and then seen. I'm, a, I'm many per, I'm many people's first experience. Right. So <laughs> so you've murdered this guy's all of his friends in front of him and then showed him that hey, supernatural shit is real on the same evening. So if you tried to talk to him, the only thing that's going to come out of his mouth is screams. It's yeah, just while, gonna, while I'm interrogating cool. the other guy, he's sitting there muttering. Like, yeah, I saw every moment at once folded into a knife. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's a hell knife. We've all seen it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're like you get used to the buzzing sound. I see it when I close my eyes. <laughs> Don't worry, it's like coughing and you see the lights. Don't worry. Oh my god! All right, so <sighs> all right, all right. Would you mind driving while I talk to my man here? And I very, very chumly. Pat the uh, forger on the back of the, you know, shoulder. Like, ah, oh, yeah, we're good friends. Yeah, he, he he's like all nervous because he knows you guys murdered everyone. We are about to become very well acquainted, my friend. Yeah, he he, he just kind of is sweating bullets and he's like, look, I'm just a courier. Excellent. I am not in the habit of killing the courier. Yeah, you shouldn't. <laughs> You shouldn't. He, he like moves his shoulders, like trying to do finger guns, but he's cuffed. Yeah, so it's like. Eh. <laughs> okay, uh, can you give me a drive check? <laughs> oh no! Oh boy, our favorite. It's the first time I've let you drive. Yeah, so this is a Isn't big it? trust moment. Um, I I think that would be great. I think that would be fantastic if like he's he's like, all right, we're going to talk. You just drive into the ocean. Run over another dog. <laughs> oh, I'm traffic. Kadunk, kadunk. Well, that solved itself. Let's go. Hey, missed it. It's the Magistrate on Monday. <laughs> Poor kid. Uh, <laughs> we didn't run the kid over, did we? Not yet. Yeah, we're I a little did. better than that. We we did like permanently cripple those other kids with the milk bottle. Oh, they shouldn't have been fucking around. <laughs> Shouldn't have been fucking around with the milk bottles. All right. Uh, which, 
Mr. We do still need to go pick up my armored cape and uh, Griglak's boat cloak from him. Indeed. Um, Mr. Goat, drive? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm driving. Okay, mm -hmm. do I have any modifiers? Because it's just driving. It's just uh, driving. All right, let's see. Just I normal driving. Nothing could go wrong. Yeah, but is it literally still a plus zero? Correct. Jeez. Well, I guess, yeah, this is like a fucking horrible... Well, I it's... got a f one in three chance. Oh, yeah. I actually drive that. Yeah. yeah but... So he's he he does the he does the academian way of things. He's like, oh, yes, this is the gear lever, and this is, oh, the, the, the velocimeter, and then he just takes right off. No problem. Like, he's yeah. he's read the manual. The yeah, he's, he's I'm ran... Following, I'm following all posted traffic signs. I'm using my turn signals. Are we he, there yet? <laughs> oh, my... He drives... I I will say this for the rest of the party. He drives so good, it is annoying. <laughs> it it actually it, it actually makes you mad because you're like, like no, there's an I'm opening there. On red, yeah, yeah, it's you're like, not. No, it says no turn on red. <laughs> yeah, you're you're not you're not following all the gut things you should do in traffic. You're like, there's a spot there, and he's like, well, you must leave one vehicle length for every ten miles an hour. <laughs> It, it it just infuriates everyone. So yeah, um, as as is oh. your yeah you're driving safely there. You're talking with the the merchant con artist, and he's like he's like, look, man, I I was I was hired I was hired to do a job. I was hired to transfer a thing. I walked it in there. I was gonna get the guys to take these, and I was gonna walk the fuck home. That's it. Griglack, right knee, please. <laughs> Griglack smash. <laughs> Um, you know what, since he is tied down, and this is horrific, uh, can you just do a strength check at, like, plus 30, just to, like, bash his leg in a way that is crippling, but not killing? <laughs> strength 40. Simple, simple. Greg like smart. Greg like smart, mighty warrior. He's actually not that dumb. He's just simple. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Grig like punch out chief. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 94. Okay. As you're driving in the vehicle through traffic, perfectly fine and safe through traffic. No problems. No problems. No bumping. No bumps. I mean, he even goes around potholes. He turns on his blinker to go around potholes, and he's more than courteous. And as you're going around just rocking in traffic, out of nowhere, you say Grig like. Right knee, please. Griglack nods and punches him in the face so hard, he's instantly passed out. He's just instantly out. He is unconscious. He has moved into the realm of the shadows. He, oh, it's like the fist hits his face, and you hear a smack and snoring instantly. He is, he is just gone. I have seen this before. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go for a sternal rub to wake him back up. Okay. Like this. Okay, so you're gonna do. Uh, I used it on the battlefields of Cree. Medicaid check. <laughs> I'm sure I can. Yeah. Weapon skull based Medicaid check. There you go. Okay. Um, no bonuses. I'll, I'll give you a plus twenty. I mean, you've you, you said you did it on Krieg. I'm <coughs> I'm sure that only this is this is standard to check if they're just faking. Yeah. Have you done your service for Krieg? Ah, uh -huh. back in the line. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you do the sternum rub. However, after a minute, you believe that this man may be in a coma. <laughs> Griglek is indeed a mighty warrior. <laughs> In fact, he hit him so hard, Ricky comes alive. <laughs> just instantly. What? Like, no, it just, it, it was so loud. Ricky, you come alive, you hear the thunderclap of an angry god, and you're suddenly wide awake. I immediately reach into my jacket for a cigarette, trying to light it, like, really quickly, like, fuck half. <laughs> oh. But you, you aren't okay. comfortable. You are on a pile of guns. You recognize that instantly. By instinct. I roll back over. Yeah. You just, it. it's, it's like being a spider in the web. You know, you just, you're like, oh, yeah. I can sense. I have gun sense. <laughs> yes. Yes, he does. Right. <laughs> I'm going to sigh and go to the first aid box on the wall and see if there's, like, smelling salts or anything in there. To oh, okay. There's Griglack, all... Griglack triggers the finger on his magic sword and hands it to the chief. 
<laughs> You're okay. You have two paths to trying to pry this guy to awakeness on the way back home to get your vacation as you continue to dig a hole for yourself. Okay. Course one is going to be using medicine. <laughs> Course two is going to be using violence. Now, which of these courses are you wanting to pursue? I just want to make sure that I've highlighted these as you giggle silently on the webcam. <laughs> I, I just... I can't breathe, sorry. I, I'm just saying, it's, it's like you have chosen two courses, Medicine or Violencia. Talk about a Plumwee Plata sort of split there. All right. Go ahead. Which which are you going to choose? Are you going to choose the magic sword that Griglank just gave you? Or are you going to choose the medicine that you surely can read? <laughs> I sigh and I accept the magic sword. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Because <laughs> you were going to be like, all right, and you pull into the thing and you're like, he's dead. <laughs> Fucking Kevorkian, you know, the guy on the way there. <laughs> yeah. Thought it was, you know, a nice, you know, smelling salt to wake him up. Turns out it was sodium pentachlorate. Yeah, you're like, he OD'd on atropine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he got it out of the box. <laughs> he keeps kicking. <laughs> He's a kicker. Um, all right. So you manage, you, you, let's say, some I'm just gonna give this one to you. <laughs> you you prod him awake and he wakes up screaming <laughs> and he's the sign of his face is swollen and he goes, What the fuck? Why you just he punched me? Welcome back. We were having a conversation and then you began lying to me. He goes, I it was a simple you punched me. He's like, that guy's sleeping on a pile of guns. No, I'm not asleep. As he turns back over and tries to make himself comfortable. <laughs> so you're like... Smoking. That's how you can tell he's conscious. So he's like, you see him like scoop a pile of like Mac 10s to make a pillow. Yeah, <laughs> and then just, just curls up. Oh, God. Ghetto fabulous. Never change. So, um, you manage... You, you, what are you going to ask him specifically? I'm going to interrogate him about the letter. All right. And the mission. Daddy. The letter in the mission. All right. Does anyone else have any input, any idea, while we're stepping out of character briefly? I don't have anything I can input. Um, I think you guys interrogating is probably the best thing our characters can do. Until you hand them over to the captain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll remind him that I am calm, collected, and gentle compared to the people we're coming to see. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a fair assessment. Yeah, um, the ca the captain's insane. So, but I mean, you know, Imperial Guard. All right, so you've managed to terrify him enough, not only by your quality as companions in terms of having a giant there with a sword, um, <laughs> the murder ability of your party, the pile of guns your man is sleeping on, the guy across from him who is just rocking back and forth and babbling about all the horrible things he saw. And, of course, uh, your own promissory threats to hand him over to someone far worse than he could ever imagine. <laughs> so he just goes, look, this job came through the grapevine and it was very, look, it was, you, you pick it up, you, you, get a, you, you get a letter for afterward and you get a place you go to. It's a warehouse. It's very simple. It's a warehouse. And... You know, they were they were gonna they they were gonna give everyone a slice of the action, you know. It was it ever everybody's gonna get big residuals from this, but all all we had to do was seed stuff. I I you know, take these coins, get them in the hands of the criminals, and nobody knows where they came from. That's it. Just make this shit disappear. I don't know if it was just someone trying to get rid of shitty money they made or what, but just just make it go away. That's all I was told to do. They didn't tell me what happened next. It's just, you have to understand, they, they paid me a lot of money for this, and it was simple, carrying bags of money to some low lives and pretending to be some powerful, upscale guy, you know, for an afternoon. These guys are idiots. No offense. He says no offense oh, while looking at you, Ricky. Oh. 
I thought he was looking at me like he's fancy. Looking. I'm like, I wasn't I even looking at him. So yes, he he's not even like paying attention to him. No, no. And but he he good. He he just nods and he goes, I I, I see you're very different. And he nods toward the psyker. <laughs> I'm very the same. I I very gingerly pull the map out of the visor above her eyes head and unfold it. Points of that house to me. He goes, that's the problem. We weren't going to be told until afterward. Where were you to meet this person? It was supposed to be a call. Ah. He goes, they didn't, he goes, they didn't trust us at all. Why? From whom did this information come? He goes, believe it or not, the labor lottery office. The labor lottery oh, office oh, is corrupt? <laughs> Indeed. We are here. <laughs> but we don't make mistakes. So out of character, is there more here to get or if we exhausted this man? I would say he seems like you've exhausted him. He 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 was he's a cog in you get the read that he's a cog in a machine. He saw an opportunity to make a lot of money doing something dumb. He did it. Yep. And then you guys kicked the door in and killed the shit out of everyone, and he's like, ha ah. <laughs> So now he's terrified of you and not his former handlers who he never met. Excellent. So the captain will want to confirm all this, of course. <laughs> <laughs> With electricity. Um, <laughs> and elbow drops. Um, so as, as you guys manage to pull in... Oh, uh, another drive check, Mr. Goat, to pull in safely, please. Oh, no. I'm going to fucking hit the boss's car, aren't I? Anything's possible. Uh, uh, no or, modifier again? No modifier, Goat. Jeez, this thing's that fucking hard to drive. Oh no, five degrees of failure. <gasps> Interesting. Is five really a lot, though? Yes, oh, that's shit. like fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this is this is gonna be a little interesting. So you know what? Because I have other stuff for you to do. I'm going to make it simple. As you round the corner and pull into the compound, you just, uh, with the, uh, you kind of misjudge things a little bit. A little bit, you know? It, changed, it gets light to dark really fast. It gets light to dark. There's fog out. New tires. Not bred in the tires. So you you, you don't have that compensatory, you know, kind of like mush, you know? Um, maybe, the, maybe the rack and pinion's been oiled, but... You kind of misjudge that turn coming off the curb, and that bumper, by God, it just takes the mailbox for the whole police station with it and drags it inside. <laughs> so as you pull up, um, mail call, as you pull up to your parking spot, you're aware of a horrible, horrible grinding noise as though something metal has been dragged along concrete for hundreds of feet and is currently wedged in a place it shouldn't be. I open the the like the driver door and like look at what's going on. You you see that you have hit a giant metal mailbox and wedged it under the rear bumper and it is stuck there and you have dragged it all the way into the building. There's Great. there's a gouge from the front all the way to our parking spot. Yep. Like you <laughs> Uriah's eyes follow the gouge, and then he checks. The, and he, then he checks to see if Delta Squad has any mail. <laughs> All right. There's a key in the mailbox. Only the sergeant can open it. I give the. All right, sergeant. Um, can we check the mail? Yes. Let's. Uh, I saved uh, you the walk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hop, hop over uh, Mike's character out of the back. Look down. Fall to the couch. Nod. <laughs> no, that'll happen. <laughs> oh, this, thing, this, this vehicle needs better visibility. Yeah, you. Have, have you seen the? Thing tiny we just need a better parking split? spot. Yeah. Uh, you you find a a handmade greeting card in there, a handmade greeting card, and it says. To the fine gentlemen of Delta Squad. I don't know who they're talking about. And as you open the greeting card, it says... Saren. No, hot. God, just psst, dead. Um, <laughs> butter <no>. hot. <laughs> butter hot. No, as you open the greeting card in front of you, you see written in scrawling note, 
Sorry I couldn't catch you this time. Sign Tomy. My lord, his logistical ability far outstrips our own. How can the forces of law and order stand against <laughs> against such evil? Well, he did try to kill you at the bridge. Yeah. He did he he has had dealings with the other halfling gangs and now he's trying to muscle into the territory. So you you guys have eh, potentially got an enemy. <laughs> Side. Potentially oh. got an enemy. Potentially. I mean, it's it's a. Well, mob this is boss. evidence now. <laughs> You're like, listen. We're technically back at base, right? Correct. Yeah. Yes. How how is the frog? <laughs> All everyone right. Everyone rushes the stairs. So so as I you will summon like sprinting past oh. everyone. So you drag a mailbox in, and then everyone gets out. And I imagine like Ricky's got the big thing of guns, like a fucked up Santa Claus. Yeah. The deputy <laughs> and Uriah are checking the mail and going, "Who's Tommy?" And then I just see the psyker like ascend and float off to go find the fly. <laughs> <laughs> just like oh, oh. your way up. Yeah, to t pose your way to the front. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, so what's everyone gonna do? Um, well, I'm gonna go report. <laughs> I'm gonna go write myself a traffic ticket. <laughs> no, I'm gonna report like, hey, I accidentally hit the mailbox. Can we get somebody to fix it? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you're probably the first person in station history to honestly report that, so good job. <laughs> they probably don't know what to do with that paperwork. Uh, Ricky? I'm gonna go take my uh, uh, take all the uh, guns, and uh, before I take it over to uh, Colin, uh, I'm gonna uh, search the uh, guns for any ammunition or anything that I could use for later. It's there's it's chock full of ammo, but it's all crap guns. This is street crafting. This is really low tech stuff. Yeah, I know. Like they're using strike anywhere match heads for primers and shit. You know that yeah, if I'm you just... put this in your guns, they would not be reliable. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to take it to Colin and drop it off. Like, I'm just going to walk up to his thing, even if he doesn't answer it, and go, Hey, Colin! All the guns, everything. So so you're just like... So you go to the armory door, and you're like, Dong, dong! Hey, God! And then you just leave? Yes. You hear angry squawking and binary inside, but you've left that in the past, and surely it will have no impact on your future. Surely. I... I, I'm fine with that. He he knows who I am. If he did not calculate this at this point, then I think that's a failing for him. Oh, I see. You were assailing his logic. <laughs> uh, if he if he has not if he has not predicted that Ricky will do something this this shitty, then I think he has a problem and not me. Wait, what do I sense? <laughs> you sense anger. <laughs> oh, that's pretty normal. The captain's nearby. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so Diggs, you're gonna go check on the frog. Yeah, that's one. Oh, well, I was actually gonna use an excuse to get to my locker, but I'm obviously gonna see if the frog's okay. Yeah. All right. It, it, frog's fine. However, uh, as you as you walk up to the locker, there's a phone. As you know, in each of their briefing rooms, it's in the wall, and it rings as you pass it. Like every Hello? phone he passes rings as he passes it. Correct. Is it magic. <laughs> oh, is so he... I'll ignore the first couple until. Yeah. I get is, to is, like sorry. As he room. passes phones, they ring. As he walks away, they stop. Oh no! Is that where you get these? God, I'm not paid to do this. Hello, um, Delta Squad. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, hello! Hello! It's good, hear, it's good to hear from you. Ah, yes, you're the psyker, aren't you? I assume so. <laughs> the, the phones are following me around. Oh, yes. Oh, most wondrous gift of technology. I must apologize for calling you psyker. I just thought you would have died. My money was on you dying or the fool who can't write his name. Is he enjoying the coloring book I gave him? Okay, there's a couple of them that can't write their name. You have to be more specific. I know, I'm just being rude. So, um, matter most urgent, I heard you have a day off, and I have something for you to do. Do I have a day off? Oh, I've arranged it. Don't worry. Oh, wait, is it really a day off if I have something to do? Well, that's really philosophical, isn't it? Yes, it's quite. So, what, what, what if I were to tell you? I have a solution to your problem. One that solves one of mine. What's my problem? 
Call it serendipity, but the gentleman interested in you. As you may recall, there was a man at the bridge. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's like, hey, Kromanov. And I was like, who's that? And I popped his head off. Indeed, indeed. As it turns out, there's a gentleman here on this world from your home world. One who yeah, has... Me. No, another. Oh. And one who has expended much effort in hiring the underworld to remove you from the current tense. And is located in your district. Oh, how fun. Two Perhaps? things. Yes. One... Who are you betting with? Because I want in. Because I, I could take the other ones out if the price is good enough. And two, how do you know he's here? He, he just kind of laughs a long moment, and he goes, Well, one, you cannot involve any of the parties in a black tontaine in the black tontaine, or else you will find yourself without money soon enough. Secondly... And I must be express here, my means by which of knowing are somewhat secure, and if I were to mention them to everyone, it would not be me who is knowing but everyone, yes? Ah, true, true. So, I'm not telling you how to spend your day off, but I do know the gentleman's location, and that he may move soon. I know that he's hired a bounty hunter team, real men with real trigger time, all working under a crooked arbitrator from your home world. The kill team is waiting, apparently, using local muscle for cover outside. Would be a shame if someone were to visit them first. <laughs> then you'll owe me one, won't you? But how do I get the guys to help me? Well, you'll have to use your kind manners, as I know you possess. Now, he's staying at the Old Mill Tavern in the Industrial District. Do look into him, won't you, and let me know what you find. I'd greatly appreciate it. Oh, the captain's coming. Ta-ta for now. And he clicks. Oh. I, do, do I see the captain? Yes. <laughs> ah! <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> What's up? She just narrows her eyes, and she goes, where's your sergeant? I can be the sergeant. She unsnaps the holster for the sidearm and goes, uh, You know, I think he was out by, by the, uh, the truck. Uh, they were dealing with the uh, mailbox. She re-snaps the holster and goes, Thank you. And, and then she pauses, she walks off, and then she walks back in and leans in the room, and she goes, is that a frog? Yes. There's a long pause, and she goes, okay, and then just keeps walking. <laughs> just That's what I did. Yeah. God, we're so relatable. <laughs> <laughs> She's perfect. She's the one. Uh, I will, I will, I'm going to summon a certain amount of flies for the frog. <laughs> <sighs> you got to be careful with that. I'm just going to roll one dice. It doesn't take a lot. Yeah, let's see how that works. Please, no. You're all oh, look at that. It's, it's a, a nine. nine. <laughs> do, 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 do. Phenomena. Do, 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 do. Phenomena. Do, 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 do. So do, 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 do
So Von and Zerobes, he's having some difficulty breathing, something about swelling on his face. Uh, yeah. He was... Looks like he's got punch face-itis. It was most helpful. Go ahead and pass on to her the information, as well as the fact that we've evidently made an enemy. All right. Um, she she asks for the uh, written note. Yeah. All right. Um, and then uh, she grabs both of them by the ears and uh, uses the pressure Is that point. the one? He has not talked to me yet. She turns and goes, they all talk. Sooner or later, Excellent. they all talk. <laughs> Have a most vulnerable time. I uh, I tell the guy that I've been talking to in the robes, and and she turns back and she goes, "The bridge is closed. Stay out of the watershed district. You have seventy two hours. Alpha shift will cover your shift." And I volunteer for more shifts. She decides and goes, "Take the time off and please leave." <laughs> <laughs> All right. And and she yells one more thing. It she goes so painful. He's like, all right. Yeah, and she goes. <laughs> she adds further. Do not be in department uniform or using department issued weapons. Yes, I have no other clothes. <laughs> she goes. Fine, just and and like one of the guys grumbles because he's trying to get away, and she like just punches him with knuckles like right at the bridge of the nose in the worst way. It's a horrible fucking break, and the guy falls over, and she turns back to continue the conversation and goes, "Okay, look, don't cause trouble. That's all I ask. I don't care what you fucking wear. I just don't want you walking around with flamethrowers and setting the city on fire. That's it. That's all I'm asking." That's all I'm about asking. This time I walk in and I'm like, hey guys, I got to deal with someone hunting me. Anyone down? Anyone down? We she... need the flamethrowers and armor. <laughs> <laughs> and, and everyone's like, yay. And she just, she just <laughs> drags one. She put fireman carries one and has got the other by the ear and just walks off. Mom! That pressure point in the ear hurts a lot. So. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> that woman, it's the hottest person I've ever met who's not from Greek. Kadian strong. Kadian uh, so, strong. Sergeant, is there any way we can get the guys together? I actually have an issue that involves me, and it's very important. Probably more important than what you have to. And it would technically not like be a day off, since you don't want one, however. Oh, we should convene. It's a broken air vent. Yes. The, the frog broken air vent. <laughs> <laughs> So wait, so wait, that's like your Hanna-Barbera safe house? Yes. Like, it's like, and they go in there. Like the Batman transition. <laughs> that's your back we're cave. Just, we're just in our barracks room around the broken air. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, wall, like, kind of like, Frogs hunched, eating hunched seven over. flies. Not where these flies come from. Yeah, oh, yeah. They're, they're food, they're food, they're friends. No, no, you, you just go, hold on, one more minute, hold on, this is so cool. And then wait, they all just... Ricky? Ricky needs to be here. And then... <laughs> And then you blink, and there's flies, and you're like, "Ah!" Oh! <laughs> this is so cool. This is why this is why the emperor loves me. Anyways, everyone's here, right? Yeah. It, it let's let's say for sake of argument, everyone is there. Yes. I know you guys were all promised a day off, and most of you don't know what that means. But we have a situation that involves me. And I know how much you care about my health and wellness and the fact that I promise I won't do as much warp mumbo jumbo if you help me. Where I have those flies so come from. That's just something I do. I can make them bigger, but I don't think the frog's ready for something bigger. Can you stop some casting in our quarters? That's dangerous. Well, if, fine, I'll do that if you have promise to help me. <laughs> You're like, or what do you want? <laughs> I'll stop doing bounty. cursed psychic shit if you yeah, help I'll me. Stop doing shit in the bunker specifically. <laughs> um, he starts doing it from. Yeah, the no, doorway. you can cast him. Yeah, like, you step outside and go, ha! Ah! Like, <laughs> uh, so, on a serious note, I got a call from Groves. You guys remember that guy? Yes. What did he want? Oh, yeah. Tell him the information. Uh, apparently, there's there's a there's a uh, Deadpool on me. He's running with somebody because there's a guy from my homeworld here hiring local bounty hunters to deal with me. And I don't know why I don't do anything wrong. Have, 
have we dealt with them? Like, how would we tell them? Well, you know, on the bridge, that tell? guy with the sword that I got, and I pull out the, the four sword, pop it. No, pop it away. <laughs> Sorry. Right, no curse shit. Sorry, I'm in the room like, still. paint start <laughs> peeling off the wall. <laughs> you know, like, it starts drooping blood from the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, check out my magic epic sword, and you, like, crack it on, and you're trying to talk over it, but it's screaming. Yeah. So it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know the guy got the sword from. I shot his head off, and the flies flew away, and it kind of yeah. But the bridge it didn't taste it, but it was gross. Um, it's a bridge that they're not allowed to cross. Yeah, that is one of the guys they sent to deal with me, and we need to deal with them before they send the. I think he was implying, and tell me if I'm wrong, DM, that he would, they might attack the precinct if I we don't deal with them soon. They're probably gonna come look for you wherever the fuck you are. It's... They're not going to stop, which means it puts other people's lives in danger. So we need to danger their lives. And I know where they are right now. We cannot let them die for you. They must die for the emperor. That's right. If they kill, if they die trying to kill me, that's nothing. If I kill them, the emperor protects. I, I will say this. As a member of the Underworld Digs, you are very familiar with the concept of vendetta and a gang hit. This feels like organized crime shit, and it feels like someone is trying to leverage organized crime to fuck your family up through you. However, you do certainly know that being the man who fucks those who fuck equals infuckination on your side. Fuck manticore. You're a All right? it, They're assholes. Yeah. Listen, I fuck, they get fucked. So that's where <laughs> we're going with this. Um, if you guys are for it, I can't force any of you, but I can make things worse for all of us <laughs> if I'm not here. Rick, Ricky. He's just like, yeah, he's just like, where do we shoot? Who Ricky, we they have so many more high-quality guns where we're about to go. Because these like, are not... What these are, are we are talking not... about here? V must stop by my tailor along the way. I just dumped right. up a whole bunch of high-quality guns at Colin, and he said all kinds of nice things about me. <laughs> Um, Sergeant, did the captain say anything about whether we're authorized to wear our uniforms or carry department issue equipment while on leave? I recall something about that, but I do not know what. Oh no, this is the problem. If she she was just talking about if we were taking the days off, but technically we're taking extended overtime. We're gonna be we're gonna necessarily need what we have on because this is law. They're breaking the law. And, and so we rules says rules. let's go on your timesheet because we are engaging in law enforcement functions. Yeah, I mean she she was just saying you don't get to use your stuff if you're not on duty. We're still on duty. Hang on, Quintus, do you want her to know about this? I mean she was near me when I was on the phone, so she obviously overheard what I was saying. So she's she's aware. I don't think Groves would would want Okay, look, we already Captain already knows about the stuff when we screwed up and brought the captives from the bridge to her. We're going to have to do this off duty and off the clock. No uniforms. Sergeant! <laughs> what do you say? I sigh and begin turning my uniform jacket inside out. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> so you're just oh, like, you're off duty side? <laughs> Look, I have uh, nine frag grenades. Does anyone want a grenade? Just like yes. holding them up. Great. I am grenade. At some point, as in, I'm, at some point, I'm going to explode, but not today. Do I still have my Krieg uniform that I showed up in? Yes. What did I do? <laughs> ah, yes. Because that well, doesn't look a, out of place. This bullet hole and blood stained <laughs> Krieger uniform. Oh, look. <laughs> the Prussian army's here. My I character's don't... just going to wear his Adip robe, but with like the carapace chest plate. I, yeah, he, he's like. Yeah, I think it's. I think if we're gonna do this, boys, we're gonna need to get some uh, some new clothes. Sure. Have we been paid? Yes, you have been. You have all been paid regularly. You've just been worked so hard, you can't go do anything. So Great. this is how, this is how many months of salary do we have? You, you guys have been on the job for two months. All right. So that's like a hundred. It's like a, we're each getting paid like a hundred. 50, I think. About, except for Dick's yeah. character. But you don't yeah, know that. I, my wife's saving about was $1,800. Whatever you guys need, if you're willing to help me, I'll pay for it. Because money buys bounty hunters, but my money buys your friendship. And I think that's the best friendship we could have right now. So what you're so saying... We're going right? to go to wherever we need to go and get ready because so, so what you're, I hear is saying no. So what you're saying is is the tradition on your homeworld is 
in times of trouble to spend your money on as many friends with weapons as possible and then have a throwdown with your droogs in the street and a bit of the old <laughs> ultra violence. <laughs> that's why the street cleaners have blood removal. I mean, fair. That's fair. Why. No, it's it's, there. it's it's good. It's it's the the you even use on my bomb. planet that's the only use for streets. No one's on the streets. We're all above the streets. So if you go to the streets you're gonna die or fight. Yeah, so they, well, they still have that black carapace armor I saved from the guy on the bridge. Yes. Okay. However, he's 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 it needs to be resized. So on my person without anything from the thing i currently have my nice suit and hat my contingency plan my four sword and my pattern mark three uh not the re not the trungeon not the revolver not the long last or any armor all right so obviously you guys are going to need some firepower to pull this off and as well you're going to yeah. need to meet with some guy this sounds like a job for ricky or grig like yeah. if you want to make it funny <laughs> i have to meet some guys okay you guys just want to buy something off the street, so I guess... I, I don't know anybody in this town. No. I've been with them the whole time. However, you hear a ping over the intercom, and it goes, Officer Ricky to Armory. Oh, that's, uh, that's my call, boys. And uh, he's going to go over to the Armory. As you, I'm going to follow him. As you go to the Armory, you find all of those guns are missing. All of them. Nice. The door is wide open, and you see the wide variety of the arsenal there. And floating above the ground is Calm. And he appears to be in a lotus position, floating there, meditating. Lotus position? That's where he's got his legs folded and just kind of zen. Oh, does he even have legs? Yeah. You just haven't seen oh, him yet. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, because he's always been behind a counter. Yeah. Well, I mean, he, he just goes like, oh, you have like a nice. floating body. <laughs> no. So he could be. No, he's just floating there. And he goes, you have brought me many fine toys. Most of these are terrible, but some of them are inspired. I have. Yeah, a... It's all in a day's work. He goes, I heard something happened to the watershed district. The what? Never mind. So what is what is that? Uh, like I don't know anything about no uh, no water shits, but uh, I'll tell you what. There was uh, there was definitely something happening downtown. He goes, indeed. So I have decided to reward you for testing a device of mine. Return. Uh, what's that? Return in three days. Okay. Okay. I'll remember that. To return in three days, you said. Return in three days. Three days. Three days. What are those? The door closes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I'll go and tell the group that that's what Colm tells me. I'm like, hey guys, he wants us to return with three gays or something. I wasn't listening. No, well, stop by the armory after after <coughs> time off. Yeah. Excellent. Maybe he will give me another one of those wonderful devices. Oh man, that was pretty sick, right? <laughs> Remember when we blew up that thing? I mean, we didn't. Right. Hell, those guys ain't gonna be fucking with us anymore. <laughs> they will not be fucking with anyone ever again. We we got rid of the slum. We got rid of the slum lords. We got rid of you know the gangs underneath. That was yeah. us. <laughs> it was shit. I lied. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I need to quit my job. I'm bad at it. I, I gotta, I gotta go pray the emperor. <laughs> I gotta go pray this okay. AOE grinding away. One of the SP hurts. Oh my god! Well, Ricky, why don't we just go to that story we went to where we got the where I got you know this this little Laz pistol? Remember? No. The one with the old man who you threatened and said he had snipers on the rooftop watching him. Yeah, that doesn't sound like me. That sounds like everything you ever say. Let's go. We're going there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He he just he just goes. Okay, well, that definitely doesn't sound like me. But I mean, that sounds like a guy who looks like me would do. I mean, that's what I would say. Right. Definitely wasn't me. Definitely not. Surely. So, right. um, you you you've decided not to take any of the agency equipment, of course. Um, and I I'm presuming you're going to put on as much civilian attire as you guys can before heading out into the city to procure firearms and weapons and tools and for armor. And yeah, okay. Yeah, my street uniform is inside out as well. Of course, 
Of course. So, <laughs> so rather than look like the cops, you look like a collection of off-world crazy people. And a guy wearing like a nice suit. Team. Like the only thing I have is a nice suit. That's what I mean. It's a guy in a nice suit and his crazy retinue of weirdos. That is what this looks like. Yeah, I, it's it's like I, I have like a, a pair of pants that are like torn, like all my pants. No, and, it's like uh, business suit and then stunt doubles for YMCA. That is, yeah. that is what this looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got like a, a crazy looking shirt that he clearly bought from like a bazaar. It's got like a, a tiger and like a dragon fighting on it and shit. Of course, as, as they do. Yeah. So you guys wander outside um, for the first time stripped of your uniform, weapons, police that cruiser, fire. authority. And you find yourself seemingly feeling weird as though something great and purposeful was stripped of you. You're not sure what it is. Maybe you already missed the job. It, in, it must be gas. <laughs> at, at any rate, before long, you see a sign. This is Laszlo's world of everything. Well, if he has everything, he might have what we need. I'm just going to walk in. Yeah. All right. So, so <laughs> you, you find Laszlo's world of everything. Laszlo's world of everything is a basement shop. Uh, it is located in one of the former buildings you kicked the front door in. And your various fun adventures, uh, also known as a night patrol. Um, this building has now since been taken over by Laszlo. Uh, you find that the door has been replaced and the locks have been replaced. Uh, the guy behind the counter has even been replaced. He's standing there and he's like, hi, I'm Laszlo. He looks very friendly. He's a middle-aged guy. He's clean shaven, fairly thin, well put together, bow tie, classy looking. The place even smells nice. He's got a collection of all sorts of odds and ends, clothing and housewares and what have you. He looks kind of like... science check. Oh, I see. Success. You detect a few interesting items, but they're not in public view. Show me the good stuff. He, he goes, oh, what you see is what I've got, my friend. What you see is what I've got. I, I, I am, I am a humble. Could I interest you in a toaster? It can cook eighteen hot dogs at once. If you that uh, that weird tech dude, he'll love you forever. <laughs> <laughs> he goes. Don't talk about him. He comes in and stares. <laughs> he, he just looks. The toaster. <laughs> yeah, he just looks haunted and stares off into the distance, like he's seen things he shouldn't. <laughs> he's just. <laughs> Retail man, How minus one's a, sanity. <laughs> How much was uh, 18 hot dog toaster? He was like, two, two thrones? Wait, why? <laughs> I had over two hot. thrones. <laughs> he, he, he goes and From gets... From my life savings. He goes and gets the box and hands it to you, and he's like, it cooks 18 hot dogs this is the this is the exact one the the tech priest from your shop keeps looking at excellent yeah, yeah um, it's 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 even got you know spray on enamel easy to clean um i'm looking for something for uh, personal protection he goes ah no problem and he takes out a letter opener and puts it on the counter no he nods and he goes, I see you're a discriminating man. He takes it back and he puts a box cutter on the counter. I, I pull out oh. like a stick of throne gelt. It's like, I have 250 thrones burning a hole in my robe pockets. Oh, I want some light flak armor and a gun. A plasma rifle in the 40 <laughs> megawatt. What you see is what I got. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 45 caliber long slide. <laughs> <laughs> With the laser sights that's like on top of it. That laser sight had a power cable running up his yes. jacket and into his coat and it lasted for like two minutes. And they said it was like uncomfortably hot. <laughs> <laughs> I need a laser, comma, hot. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that hot laser. He uh he kind of looks both ways and he's like, You're not a cop, are you? Yes, we are. No, that's uh, that's when Ricky now. steps forward, he goes like, Yeah, we're cops. Look at us. We're totally cops. He goes, I, actually, I know you're cops because everyone in this street knows who you are. Yeah, but we're not very good at our job. Obviously. Oh, they, they, they know that as well. Hey, people say avoid okay, them. Why are people think we're bad at it. Everything we do is good. <laughs> you're like, everything we do is good. There's just a lot of murder. <laughs> that, 
what we do good <laughs> <laughs> we're actually here because we gotta go murder people now <laughs> you are in my way um we have an angry giant on our team do you really want to uh not sell us our weapons uh, he there goes are like one or two things in here that i'm really interested in knowing what they are and i can't see them but i will have griglack griglack this place griglack style so you don't start bringing out the heavy stuff. You're using Griglack as a verb. <laughs> Griglack is not everything. Okay. <laughs> verb and He's like three and times my size standing behind me. You're going to Griglack the room. Okay. <sighs> so he, he he just goes, oh, okay, look, I don't have a lot of weapons. He's like, but the ones I do are pretty awesome. <laughs> And so he, he takes out a bigger box cutter. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, check this shit out, and it's like a box cutter the size of a katana. No, <laughs> he's like, the blades are hard to find for these. <laughs> um, so Back he, off. yeah, so he he reaches he reaches in the bag, and he's like, all right, look, look, I have new in the box four last guns. Bullshit, show it. He goes into the back and he goes and gets the box and he puts the box on the counter and he pops the seals and he rolls it open. Mm. Imperial Guard issue, brand new. Cantry all pattern. M36. I'm going to lean over and start. Can you verify that or Ricky? I don't know much about guns. No, he, he looks over at uh, the sergeant who, who knows his, his uh, firearms and he's like, does this look like, uh, look like it's latit to you? What would I need to roll? Ballistic skill. Or would my... Yeah, let's say ballistic skill just for general gun knowledge. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can you deduce that these are not only guard issue. These are very good guard issue. These are the card guard issue they give to, like, the honor guard to make sure they look mm. good for demonstrations. I am very good at shoot gun. That's literally all you put XP into? Nearly. <laughs> So so he goes he goes wow. look, I I can let you have them for 150 a pop. Um, um that's he, actually if these are good quality that's actually like a good deal. They that's are good quality like, but he's like I ain't got no armor. No one has any armor. Ricky's never used a las gun before so he's just like yeah they look pretty cool don't they? Do you have a hobo jacket? He goes are you kidding? This is G17. We're made of hobo jackets. And he's like, he takes you to the back, and there's like, a, there's a whole row of hoodies that say, these are full of booze and cigarettes, and there's a whole row of jean jackets on the other end that says, this will hold three days worth of food. And then in the middle is the combination hobo jackets. All right. I'm buying the las gun and putting it under my, my adept robes. Does he have any armor? No. He said no, no armor. No armor. Nobody's but, got armor. But each last gun comes with four charge packs. They're all charged. Am I still sensing those two weird things? Yes. Can I use that to try to find them with like a perception roll or something? Yeah, let's go ahead and you can you can try to dowsing rod the location of these things. Give me another sign of science oh. check, please. Ooh, super good. You find, strangely enough, and he 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 has like a little shelf of just random shit. Like little knickknacks of the city, you know, like um, little keychains, little bottle openers, little rocks, stuff like that yeah. on a shelf. And as, as, as you touch one of these items and you, you put your fingers around it, just because something says stuff on the shelf feels weird, and you brush your fingers across one of the items, you kind of recoil because it feels sharp and it feels like it bit you. The fuck? Yeah. But you, you look at your fingers, no blood, no no nothing. Do I see anything there? You you see what you last touched looks like a piece of glass. I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> is there any way is there I don't think I have any kind of role to identify it. You could try to fuck with it. I'll take off my hat and I'll kinda of like use the edge of it to like knock it over maybe all right so as as you brush it along it, it looks like a piece of glass from a shattered window interesting and if i go near it it feels like it's biting me yeah it, it feels painful to touch like it's 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 not welcome hey ricky you busy what's that and he uh takes the las gun and like does the like flipping around thing see this piece of glass here yeah it's a piece of glass. 
Uh, you probably want a gun though, because this. No, no, that's better. fine. Uh, can you pick it up for me? Pick up the why? I just want to look at it. I don't want to touch glass. It won't cut you. Oh shit! If that's all he takes, then he picks it up. You feel nothing. So you just like, turn, yeah, here's your piece of glass. Spin it around. And he, wants spin it around. he hands it. Here's your piece of glass, and he throws it up for you to catch it. I, I catch it. It feels like at first in your hand, you you kind of recoil because it feels like it's biting into you. Like it it, it feels like a panic cat that's been thrown. Ah! So it's like Argh! okay. And then after a moment, nothing. What the fuck is this supposed to be? <laughs> Emperor, help me out here. What the fuck? I'll, I'll go to the guy. It's like, do you, are you selling this piece of glass? He goes, is this a thing you sell? He he kind of takes it and he looks at it and he goes, that's weird. Yeah, this uh, this piece of glass came from this. This is part of the closeout sale when they liquidated uh, the the bread place. When they when somebody drove a tank into the bread place, right? And and so when they liquidated the the last stuff in there, I guess this piece of glass was in there and must have got swept up into the box. I'm sorry. No, I, I'm not. I'm not selling it. I mean, if you really want a piece of glass, I mean, I'll take it for now. Just because I don't want anyone else to get cut. I'll, I take it from put it in my pocket. He goes, okay, enjoy free glass. Yeah, I just didn't, I'm, you know, I'm trying to protect you from cutting yourself. It's a cop thing. Anyways, is there, what's the other thing? I, I poke my head up from a row of hobo jackets and I'm like, don't mind him. He's very weird. And then go back under. <laughs> yeah. You just want to like, see weird? <laughs> yeah. Let me show you a weird kid. Flies. <laughs> 14 minutes. Four fries. Your mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. It's gonna be like, yeah, we should. Should... Oh. Okay, yeah, just like it's all of a sudden you're eating fries. <laughs> you're like, these are these are just cold. Oh, it's pretty gross. All right, so so as you um as 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 you take the glass, it just feels it feels very strange. There is some sort of psychic imprint on it, but you haven't quite figured it out. You realize that maybe with some meditation and some time, you might be able to deduce where it's from and why it's important. Yeah, I mean, I'm a divine, oh, I'm a divination psyker, so I'm kind of like, what, what kind of abilities do I give have it, Give it time. I, I would okay. say a good evening right. spent. I just, I like pocket a, it, but like I'll keep, I keep like kind of touching it quick, like in my pocket here and there to see if it's like giving me anything. Oh, course of the day. If any, anyone, everyone is everyone grabbing a last pistol except Greg Black? It, it's it's going to be a last pistol or a last rifle that he will sell you. Yeah, it is good I'm quality. Two of them, obviously, he has a long last. No, is it a last rifle's on a long last? No. Long last is a las rifle that has been built for a long range sniping in particular. Um, Your long las isn't the permanent issue. You can use that no problem. It's just yep. concealing it is going to be a problem. Yeah, I need oh, a yeah. las rifle because my only off the books guns are pretty terrible. Yeah, I have the very high quality. You're good, dude. Come or the teleport thing, my four sword, and now I have the long las. But I'm probably not going to bring the long las if we're doing. We're kind of already. I mean, we're about to look like hobos, so we won't need like the the gun will actually stand out suddenly. <laughs> well, that's why you get a hobo jacket because you can basically yeah. do what Kyle Reese did, where you have the full size shotgun on the inside of it, hanging under it, yeah, hidden. Yeah, so I, I, I produce like, like bureaucrat robes, the five dirtiest, nastiest, long hobo coats that I can find, and they're all way oversized for us, so they will hide rifles. All right. Yeah, we just look like we just look like um, shit. We could just get a shopping cart with to my jack boots and my. Yeah. <laughs> what's the, what's the total of ev what of everything? If we, All right, if so everyone bought. so hold on. Las gun, two las pistols, las gun, las gun. Um, so I already deducted for myself. I'm about to say like I was going to pay for everything. Yeah, he's he's willing to pay. I'm, I'm the one who's running this. Mission. He's he's well, financing this job. He's the Johnson. Mission. <laughs> All right, Mr. Johnson. All I don't right. even know where money is on this sheet. It, um, we didn't put anything. Don't worry about it. You got enough. Yeah, your I guys got filthy. Got plenty of money. Yeah, your guys filthy rich. Um, you, you just you, swipe a credit card. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> um, he's, he's like, what is this? I don't even know what it is. And I swipe it, and he somehow gets money. He's like, how'd that happen? <laughs> he, <laughs> right out someone's like, I ran out of money, and you're like, oh, is the bank closed? <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. So yeah, let's, let's just say you have the money for it. Cause your guy is ridiculously wealthy and that's more fun than sitting there deducting money. Um, yeah. Griglack, what sort of weapon is Griglack want? The shock mall is not technically issue. Technically. No. Nor is it traceable. What does Griglack see? Well, actually, you know what? Griglack can keep that shock mall because, well, unless Griglack wants to upgrade to something else. What Griglack see? You see on the back wall a glass case that says I "ask can staff." Chuck that case at people. No, it, it, and, 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 and and it says "ask staff for key," and inside the glass case is a bunch of ninja weapons and stuff. Oh. Like, but but in the center of that glass case is a giant fucking sword. Casual sword. No, very fancy looking. It's got like sword. a. It's got like a goat's head on the hilt or something. It's not Baphomet, but uh, yeah, it's, it's not the other. It's not the other thing I've noticed. Some with that runes thing, right? on the blade. Nobody's worried about. It. Yeah, <laughs> it's whisper. It whispers to you sometimes. Hey, don't worry, Diggs. It's not the other thing that's whispering. Don't okay, worry. Okay, because I know there's one other thing in here is pinging, and I'm just like, <laughs> if it's Sing. a sword, I'll be like, no, 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 I'm not paying for that. Good thing. Hey, get me out of here. Get me out of this case. Yeah, yo, bro, you want, I heard you like birds. I can get you a bird. Hey, I'm a sword. I like stabbing people in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if you cut someone? It's like, oh, it's a juicy one. You know, just... <laughs> you just get the balloon saw as your sword. Oh, God. Nom, nom, nom. Griglack looks at the magic sword. New magic sword. Oh, need to ask. Griglack, ask. Um, He goes... Uh, yeah, I can get that out for you. And he goes over and he gets the ladder and he takes out his keys and he opens it and some dust moves because you realize he hasn't opened that in a while and the hinges kind of squeak and uh, some of the stuff almost falls out of the case and he's kind of embarrassed. And he kind of awkwardly hands the sword over. It's enormously heavy. He, he, he hands it to you, Griglack. Oh, Griglack, test it out. Are you going to do the Conan training yeah. thing? <laughs> <laughs> start, maybe, maybe. Start, yeah. start playing the Anvil of Krom as you like yeah. do the do the moves. Krom, mm. I do the two snakes look at each other. <laughs> there you go. All right. Griglack, take. Uh, oh, all right. Uh, the, the sword. Dumb one pay. <laughs> Dumb one pay? Wow. That's horrible. You know, that uh, money, I'm paying. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I think he was calling you dumb. Not my intelligence is what? pretty low. Fair. Um, so one. I think we all used intelligence as a dumb stand. Dumb stand. Ryan, Ryan oh. the brain. <laughs> Griglack genius. <laughs> Griglack quiet genius. They all come to Griglack in the end. You check it like Griglack's intelligence like seventy. You're like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Griglack wonder what future of universe when star turned to dust. Griglack no, think deep. Um, so, at any rate, the sword. Uh, Goat, we're gonna need to stat that, if you can. Um, it's just gonna be a good quality sword, and it is not going to be primitive. If we could move that to Griglack's inventory. Sword. Sorb. All right. Sword. So you were told by Groves of the location of these people. And the location is going to be at, hold on, double checking my notes, making sure I'm not lying. It is the Old Mill Tavern in the Industrial District. Now, you know that they're going to be there for the next few days for certain. But beyond that, you don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to presume that you have some sort of public transit to get you there unless you're going to hoof it across the district. I don't know the district very well. I just know of the place. So I, is there like a taxi service? There are several. Um, it's, this, this is a rundown industrial district that you're going to. So the taxis may not stop there, but uh, the trains and the buses will. All right, the bus. Yeah, so you can get on the bus like a bunch of bums. Look like a bunch of bums right now. Yes, you do. So underneath this waistcoat is my long les, and underneath this side is my very well folded, put together hat and a regular nice outfit. <laughs> so wait, you you have on a quick release fancier clothes? 
Yep. Yeah. So you're we'll like in the middle back. of a firefight and you're like, hold on. You go to my turn. I say, I, I don't worry about my turn this time. You're like, okay. And then you come back to me. It's like, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> They're like, is that guy doing blue steel in the middle of a firefight? <laughs> or what's your stopping? <laughs> oh, God. This is all right. So we're going to say you take public transit to get over there. Uh, just, just to prevent anything from getting How too bad. Work? One moment. And I'm going to put all your fellers there. There we go. That'll be nice. And then I activate. Okay. Do you guys see the outside? Yeah. Excellent. We, t we take the bus and instead of paying for it, I just go boop as I walk by. So you just make the noise as you move yeah. your hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's worked all the time in my home world. Yeah. But watch it be like one of those places that needs a coin. So you're like, boop. Yeah. And he's like, I don't hear a coin. And you're like, ka-ching. He's like, whoa, what was that? Yeah, and he goes, ka-ching. So what you see... Start the fucking bus. <laughs> <laughs> so what you see is the Old Mill Tavern. It is not a tavern. It is not an inn. It is a shithole of a two-story building. The first story has these uh, stairs going up to it. The second story looks like it's kind of boarded off and abandoned and the roof has collapsed. It is a bad place. Bad people live here or wish they lived here. This certainly says go away written all over it. The soot in the streets is big enough uh, or is thick enough to shovel and scrape. It is bad. Mm. You notice that the people you pass in the street either look dead inside or intent on being dead inside when the sun rises. These are not healthy or happy people. No one looks at you in your current clothing. You have become disgusting to even them. Congratulations, my dad. Everyone reaches new lows. However, yeah. next door, since this is an industrial district, is an enormous warehouse with gates and armed guards. To whom this warehouse belongs, you don't know. Hmm. So, as you recall, Groves had said, are, are you sharing all this information with them, Diggs, or are you just not? Uh, everything. Okay. Is so, as, they as, need to be in the know. As Groves had said, local muscle was being used as cover while the kill team was inside on the south side of the building. How would you know that? So. I will just really quickly manifest some powers because we're not in the, the barracks right now. Oh. Really? Again? All right, where the fuck is that table? Dun, 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 what are you trying to use? I'm going to do sense, uh, sense presence. Oh, cool. Everything's echoing. <laughs> so for a hey, few moments... South, 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 south. So, so, so Mike is like, hey, hey, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, just making lots of noises. <laughs> I'm going to kill us today. If I keep rolling these nines... <laughs> Dude, this is going to be exciting. All right, so, so what were you trying to do before you invoked Yeah, I'm, I'm kicking on sense presence, which worked. So yes. now I can tell any living thing within... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 people in the building on the first floor, nobody on the second. Yeah. Within 50 meters, I can see... I can know every living creature. Yep. F 15 people on the first floor, nobody on the second. I've and got... I, I share that information. Two of Arias grenades, one in each pocket of the... I was just book. thinking the same thing. But go <laughs> ahead. Do you want some grenades, Ricky? <laughs> Oh, no, I can't. Hand, no, don't hand them to Ricky. I'm just saying, like, I had yeah. a character. I was thinking the exact same thing. I'm yeah. like, oh, this is sounds like a time for a grenade party. Pretty much explain where the, the bodies are clumped, mostly. And I say, I give you guys full discretion. As long as no one leaves this building alive, I'll be happy. All right. Okay. Now, so um, let's, and I've let's... seen you guys work. I'm going to do inspiring speech. I've seen you guys work. No one else who ever encountered you has. Because they're dead. Because that's how good you guys are at this. <laughs> well said. Including dogs. So I want you to go in there and prove once again why they're lucky to have Delta Squad. Because no one's going to believe that they're lucky to have Delta Squad. Because <laughs> they're all dead. Probably dead. So what is the tactical plan, gentlemen? I am going to uh, amble around the side of the building and just count entrances, windows, look for any weaknesses. 
All right. Yeah. So I'm trying my best to act like a hobo. Okay. So um, on the eastern gas mask on on the on the east. Okay. Um, <laughs> not that out of place on an imperial world. Um, so on the eastern side, uh, you've got these double stairs. Um, mm -hmm. natural uh, Griglack thing, by the way. You've got these double stairs, kind of stoop. You got stoop people sitting on the stoop, as is the custom. Whether they're lookouts or stoop people, you don't know. Um, on the western side of the building, you find uh, double doors, um, glass doors with a push bar in the center. There's windows on the north end of the building. There are no windows on the south end of the building. The second floor roof looks pretty shaky. You're not sure if you could climb up there and enter through that. It looks also dry rotted to all fuck. Okay. Dry, you're fast. <laughs> Is there a... You just see him on wheelies. Those, those, that glass should be a door. Yes. Is there a fire escape or a ladder up to the second story? It's been torn down. Hmm. Almost Is there on any old purpose. dusty pizza boxes laying around? Um, sure. Uh, yeah. Okay, I pick one of them up and I dust it off and I'm like, okay, here's my idea. We put, we, we go, hey, I'm the pizza guy. And then inside are a bunch of grenades, and then we just throw it into the room. I... <laughs> all right. That's my plan. That's what I tell everybody. And, and they all just kind of oh, my... All right. Um... I'm like, it's, uh, it's Domino's Pizza or, or whatever, you know, this <laughs> local pizza place. And uh, my plan is, is like, ring the doorbell, all right? And I have these grenades in there, and they come to open the door, and then I'm like, <coughs> pizza party, and then I throw it in there, and then they explode, and then we go in and we kill everyone else uh, while they're like, oh no, our pizza totally exploded. So what you're telling me is you, dressed as a hobo, your plan is to get a dusty, like, water-damaged pizza box that you've just given it the old, you know, Detroit brush on the yeah. outside you're going to put like three or four hand grenades into it and then walk with those primed carefully not jostling the box yeah. walking as no pizza man has ever walked before walking <laughs> like i've got to take a dump yeah yeah <laughs> walk up carefully knock on the door and then be like hello murder time throw it in and run that was my plan, yes. But if you guys have better ones, I'm just literally spitballing here. I'm just the DM. Go ahead. No, I'm talking to the other players. I mean, that could technically work. You have always been proven to do the right thing, so I trust your initiative. We should <laughs> have, have someone else though. knock for him. Um, I'll I'll knock for you. Mage hand and knock from a distance. <laughs> just... <laughs> yeah. All right. There you go. Yeah, mage hand. Now we have summoned a demon. <laughs> Fucking time today. He's on the uh, north end are all windows. Yeah. Okay. okay. And there's so he's no gonna... windows on the south end. Correct. I chose this building specifically for this reason. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? yeah so he... I chose this yeah, building specifically drink. to be difficult. Oh. Okay. Uh, I am going to, in my best hobo manner, go ahead and sit between these two windows against the wall and wait. And when I hear explosions, I'm putting a grenade into each window behind me. And the oh, is there people around those windows? windows? So you're going to just whip grenades through windows when you hear an explosion. I'm going to be Overwatch here, essentially yeah. keep an eye on everybody. Do I know from, like, I know where they are particularly. Is there a lot of, is there at least one or two people around these windows? No, not, not even close. I go, no, no, bad spot, bad spot. Okay, I moved down to a different set of windows. <laughs> <laughs> so he's he's sitting there. I imagine him sitting there with grenades and going along the wall like a crab walking and then just being like, these ones? And you're like, <sighs> and then you pause and your eyes go blank as you reach out and then you're like, no. And he's like, okay. And then he goes down a little further and it's like, these ones. <laughs> yeah. Are you over exactly there? That. Um... Uh, you, you feel that if you did it in between the next set, it might be more useful. One more, one more. Okay, I continue down to this set. <laughs> I'm like, all right. So, Operation Pizza Plan. Yeah. Sure. 
Now, I'm not going to pick, like, the dirtiest box. Obviously, I'm going to pick one that doesn't look that shitty. Yeah, the one that's not full of ants. Got it. All right. Yeah. So, so okay. Pizza delivery man Ricky with how many yeah, grenades? Yeah, there's, like, a little hump on the box. So yeah, because it's grenades. Full... Yeah. <laughs> so, how many grenades are in the pizza box, Ricky? Two. Okay. I'll, I'll deduct that from my sheet. Thank you. Mr. Goat, where are you going to be? And I've got I'm going, three grenades I'm, on me. So I'm, I'm the guy that's opening guy. the door for him, remember? Okay, so, uh, and then Uriah, or sorry, Quinn is back there. Okay, Griglack, where are you going? Uh, I will back up the chief. <laughs> it sounds so defeated. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I'll go follow him again. <laughs> I'm going to go away from explosions. So are the windows, th these things are the windows. Yeah. So I don't want to be standing in front of the window. Yeah. Great black, we're going to go the around the building and enter the backside after these explosions. That that would be hilarious if Griglack was just staring in the window, this giant <laughs> guy just like staring with like eyes, just like <sighs> it's like fogging up the glass. And the guy's like, oh <laughs> and then the next two down, two grenades come in. <laughs> <laughs> this is this crazy guy. <sighs> okay, so Ricky, um, you, you and Uriah uh, walk up to the stoop, and there's a young man sitting on the stoop drinking alcohol out of a paper bag. He he looks at you. He does not move from the stoop, and he's like, "Sup." I don't even talk to him. I'm like, time to deliver the Primark pizza. We deliver it. Da, da, da. These are words that I can sing. Da, 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 da. Yeah, and your I eyes just, just like walks up and just goes, like, Primark pizza. Yeah, so you've blown this guy's I mind. Sing this. Yeah, the, you've blown this guy's mind because he, he can't get over the fact that pizza delivery is back on in this neck of the woods they they haven't come in a while he's he's yeah. gonna he has left the scene with his friend and they're going to tell everyone that pizza can now be ordered again for this area yeah I, and i and I'm, I'm not like pizza it's gonna get cold okay so you you open the door uh or the door is open for you and you see uh two local toughs sitting there local gang members like Really well Primer dressed. pizza, Emperor be praised, and I throw the pizza box into there. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> so you like close the door. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Emperor be praised. To do. Okay. Um, no subterfuge. <laughs> just bang. All right. I just, I just. Oh. Bear. Yay! I suck. Rolling damage for grenades. Yeah, I need to roll damage for grenades. Well, they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> wow, good job. Um, right, so I, I hear the boom of the grenades. You hear a deafening boom. I mean, it is just a thunderclap. You hear kind of in the distance a little bit of sing-song, something about a Primark pizza or whatever. Then... Not my problem. And there is a deafening boom. There is a deafening boom. Yeah, so you're just... Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, Ricky is the first to go. Uh, because this oh, has okay. just started. Because okay. the pizza box that exploded and here he is. Yep, so you've, you've kicked Ricky. this off, Ricky. You go right ahead. Okay. Uh, so after the, after the bang, he's going to uh, basically uh, step to the side. No, it's tra I'm trapped there. I can't move. But yeah, he's going to step to the side. I can't really move him with the walls there. I understand. Uh, and, and and with the door creaked open, and he's going to look with the two pistol. Yeah, pistols. there's 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 pieces of the people and pieces of the wall all up and down the fucking thing. It, it, in fact, a, a, a tooth has been embedded at eye level right next to you. Okay. Once he sees all that, he's going to go ahead and go in. Telling Uriah just like he like just motioning like come on buddy and then he's gonna uh, basically go up to this first door on the right try that door and if that doesn't work 
the store here. And okay. all he wants to do is see which one's open. If they don't open, he's going to use that as cover to see who's inside. And if they are if they look like somebody uh, alive, he's going to aliven them <laughs> with the LAS pistols. All right. Well, uh, these guys are alive. They look pretty angry. And uh, yeah, so so you, you, you can go ahead and make an attack if you like. Uh, you see a guy who looks like he's trying to get up from a couch. He's been listening. Oh, yeah, he was like... So they're playing video games. Well, he was listening to some music, and you have now startled his music with the pizza bang. So not not really, okay. not really his style. I just gotta roll that lost pistol damage. I'm firing both, by the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I I do a success on that. So that'd be. Yeah. There's that. Oof. That yeah. is the head. Yeah, the guy sitting on the couch, first pistol. <laughs> so the guy is sitting on the couch. You just kick the door open, and you like, and you just like drill him right in the face. Yes. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, he's just dead. He, he, he just smoked him. All right, well second done, guy. The second guy with my other pistol. Yeah, go ahead. And left leg. Left oh, leg. Yeah, Se- yeah, bro. Seven E. <laughs> Oh God! So he he falls to the ground and he's holding his leg. Um, God. Does it like disappear like Star Trek? Was like, no, you shoot him. God, no! It's fucking forty k. You shoot him like there's a hard click and a smell of ozone, and you just see like a a quarter size hole in his leg open up and start smoking, and he's holding his <laughs> leg, going like, ah! and then you realize <laughs> the guy you've just shot looks like. A non-combatant. <laughs> All right, mission accomplished. Okay, that's the end of my turn. Yeah. That's, yes. That's yes. It is. They leave, let no one be alive. So I guess that's part of life now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've turned a corner. <laughs> um. <laughs> We're not on the. We well, the guy we sitting want. on the couch looked like bad news. So. Sitting on the couch reading a book. And yeah. Obviously, doing doing something illicit with that book. <laughs> All right, the guy you just shot, it is his turn. Um, he he takes cover under the table. Um, he's, like, dragging himself under the table, screaming. <laughs> oh, oh, God! Yeah. It, Why? It, what did I do? <laughs> uh, you hear doors... Door here. You hear a door open at the end of the hallway. And this guy spills out into it. As does I, I, a guy wearing an him. arbitrator uniform at the end of the hallway. Although I think we might be in trouble. But we're not on duty, so it doesn't count. Yeah, sure. Right? That's how it works. Yeah. Nobody can identify me under the gas mask with fire. <laughs> no one cared who I was till I put on the mask. I, I pretty much look like everybody else on the street. So I'm okay. Yeah, they would they would just literally be like, in an actual homeless man. There um, you go. I can, <laughs> I can join now. All right. It's working for me. Yeah, the difference between Ricky and a well, homeless right. man is this job. And access to guns. Yes. All right. All right. So the arbitra- the guy in the arbitrator uniform. Yep, they've they've uh it, he looks like he's wearing a uh an arbitrator uniform, but he looks a little different. So, um <laughs> let's see. Now it is Victor von Fox's turn. And you said I, you're going to throw grenade window. You grenade window. Uh go grenade can I get window. some damage for grenade window? Grenade window? Uh yeah. You throw through the yeah. window and it bounces off you're like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imagine he, well, don't you want to make him roll balls to, to to not fuck it up? No, he's literally right against the oh. window. Yeah, I'm literally yeah. like pushing no. the grenade. I can understand window. rolling a ballistic skill if it's like, hey, put a grenade through that slit in the bunker while you're uh-huh. running up. But if you're like right next to it, it's like, <laughs> you know. All right, let's see. Where's that beautiful grenade dam? Oh, seven. Fuck. All right. Well, <laughs> you hear a crash and a boom. Um, there's that overpressure snap, and th- th- you don't hear anything. And then I begin casually strolling around to the uh, <laughs> the the double doors here. All right. However, my hands in my pocket, kind of casual. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. I let's hear that explosion. Yeah. <laughs> the just. Pff- when you're like, like if anyone looks at him, he's like, Did anyone hear that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Uriah, you're up. All right, uh, Uriah draws his last gun from under the coat, and basically he like moves up against the door uh, and takes cover. All right, by you, the wall. The you door. see, you see at the end of uh, the hall some yep. really dirty looking bounty hunter and an arbitrator. Oh fuck, an arbitrator! 
It's my turn. You're not going to try to take a shot? I can't. Okay. Half just... action draw, half action move. Fuck, you're right. All right, so, uh, Griglag, son of Griglag, you've seen the man throw the magic rocks through the portal of <laughs> flat, clear, see-through rock, and there was bang. Loud bang. Then he walked he's away. You've seen me use a grenade before? Yeah, I know. I, I, just trying to put it in Griglag words. <laughs> you fan medicine man. You Griglag follow... Uh, Greek like that so five and nine. So you, yeah, uh, yeah. You want to move that there? Door. I'll just, I'll, I'll be here. All right. So you're just walking with him. All right. We got There's people. Two giant homeless dudes. Yeah, two giant. <laughs> me and my giant homeless friends. <laughs> Primark Pizza. You forgot your breadsticks. <laughs> <laughs> no, no crazy bread. <laughs> All right, Quinn. Proceed. Are you gonna? You gonna walk in with your buddies? I can only get about there, unless, and I will use my other half action to uh, draw my long las. Oh, that's all I got. Okay, Roger Dodger. Okay, and we're going back around. Rich City, Ricky. Uh, you see the two guys at the end of the hallway. Uh, you see no one else into the building in front of you. Uh, how do you proceed? I am going to uh, see them, and I'm like, oh, shit. And I uh, take cover from back here, just so I'm around the door. And I'm going to basically... <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just moving out of the way, and then I'm going to shoot down the hallway. Like, like yeah. peeking out of the door, yeah. All right, so you're going to lean around the door and take an aim shot, or are you just going to blindly blaze? I'm just going to blindly shoot those two. I don't care who I shoot. Uh, all right, so that's, yeah, that's probably going to be more suppressive fire. Yeah, just roll, roll ballistics, and you're yeah, just gonna. I could, I, you're, could, I could hit them. I could not. I mean, you're gonna just fan the area, and they're gonna have to make a. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that's actually yeah. Roll for damage. <laughs> you're gonna hit somebody. And oh righteous shit! Fury. Righteous fury. Oh my god. Uh, let me double that's check funny. this guy. Yeah, he, it. He's he's not looking at who he's shooting at. So. All right. Um, just as you start fanning gun around, just taking that quick look and lean and shoot, uh, you manage to just absolutely fill one guy full of holes, and he is dead. However, okay. the 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 other one is not. The other one. Uh, is I'm mad. also going to shoot the second pistol. Nope. Oh, damn it. I I need to. Okay. There we go. That's oh, how it is. Ten to the body. Yeah. Hold on. Let's see. Gear. I'm just gonna roll the pistol next time. I'm All right, got it. Doing that, yeah. So you you hit him in the uh, you hit him in the chest, and he takes the he takes the round, and he just looks at you like Ugh, like you've just made him mad. You shot the equivalent of Judge Dredd, and he looks like he's about to punish you for crossing the street. This isn't the first time he shot at somebody like this, so it doesn't bother him. <laughs> Most of the time, he's in a getaway vehicle or something. Well, that's fair. Um, all right. And they don't chase after him because he's not a threat. All right. Victor von Folk, go. Can I see the arbiter between the, uh, or through the glass right there? If you got a little closer, you could. Okay. You have seen some gunfire coming this way and kind of impact the back of the glass. Okay. I'll advance up to the corner and peek in. Are they facing me? No. We have to you stand. like one shotgun by any chance? Unfortunately not. Because that would be poetic. Just to, you know, just... Like, ah! Yeah, just no, give him, give him the end of Scarface, you know, where the guy just walks up with a 12 gauge, you know, and just... Yeah, that was proper. Oh, okay. So your main plan here, I, I guess, is to walk up behind the guy and just fall auto him. Is that is that your plan here? Because this person is apparently wearing the regalia of an arbitrator. Yes, that's um, new armor. If you kill him, are they wearing the uh, exact equipment in that uh, thumbnail? Yes. Including that massive, massive box of a holster? Yeah. Do they have their weapon drawn? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to open the door, drop a grenade in the holster, close the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you are going to take issue with 40K's giant dump truck holsters. 
in the most pr yeah. appropriate manner possible. I yep. <laughs> want to say, okay, they are turned away from you. They are, they are trying. Being shot at. They are being shot at. Um, and you're. I want to see that sleight of hand. I want to say that's that's sleight of hand. That, I want to say that's okay. trickery. Can I say that if I miss the holster, it just goes at their feet? That's reasonable. Yeah, it's it's not okay. gonna like suddenly bounce back in your hand. <laughs> oh, it's stuck in my hand. Yeah, it's yeah. it's not fucking weirdo rules. <laughs> Put glue on my grenade. Oh, oh you critically failed. It's a sticky grenade. Yeah. Oh, my hand. Uh, th All there's right. a actually a separate yeah. roll. Where is uh, it? A, a dot or blows up in your hand. Um, yeah, sleight of hand, you have 20 in it, and it's untrained, so, hmm. Yeah. Does that get added to my 40 agility? It's all calculated. You rolled a 25, you're only 5 off. However, so you try very carefully to put that grenade in the pouch, and they move, and it just hits the ground, and you're like, oop, and you just close the door. <laughs> yep, and come back around the corner where I'm protected from the blast. All right, go, give me a grenade blast, please. 13 damage. All right, let me. Yeah, because so that's the, like. Uh, yeah, their soak is good. Their soak is really good. Um, that's what I assumed with the being an arbiter, arbitrator. Yeah. Oh, they they've got stormtrooper carapace. Um, so they're they're not they're not easy to fuck with. Um, yeah. So, God, what a nice blast! I I always want to put like the Fibonacci thing in there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, so that's another there. Okay, so there's a blast. Uh, this door is blown open as a result. And, ah, thank you for the Fibonacci. Um, and as well, that guy is wounded. All right, uh, that is Deputy's turn. Uh, this guardsman now, or sorry, this arbitrator, it's labeled guardsman for some reason, comes barreling out of this door and starts to shoot back. They have a crazed oh. look in their eye. <laughs> Like, who the fuck and are you? Fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Blank, that's a plus, tw plus 30. He's at point blank range. I know. I'm sitting here trying to make what sure. What does doing. the arbitrator use? Uh, well, this guy's got a hand cannon. Um, and it's, it's big, big old caliber. Shit, so, he doesn't have a combat shotgun. He, he does, but it's not pulled out. He's got the hand cannon yeah. and the shock maul out because he's assuming it's going to be some local kids he can just beat the shit out of and not like mm. fuck up the street. Uh, so yeah. Instead, he got a grenade. Uh, yeah, that's a success against the right leg. Uh, that is eleven damage with two penetration. Dodge, Victor. Dodge. You need to dodge. Okay. Uh, use a use a fate if you got it. Because otherwise, that leg gun auto succeed with the fate. No. All right. Okay. I do. I do have three fate still. Yeah. Well, every game I think we're ever gonna dodge, and then if you fail, you can roll. You can spend a fate to reroll. Yeah. <laughs> so you he's like he's like wow, and you're just like foo, and you just move, you just move, <laughs> and and it just like Remo Williams, you know, he just. You're out of the way, and it just hits the ground, and the guy just looks like he's gonna fucking tear your head off and shit down your neck. You have made Good. him mad. Finally, a worthy opponent. All right. Uh, the step would be like, you want an opponent? <laughs> yeah. All right. So you hear, um, Uriah, you hear on the other end of the building <laughs> a, a cacophonous explosion and then yelling. <laughs> Something about an opponent. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Is it my turn? Yes. Victor Oops. just went. Fucking tracker says. Um, okay. I know, but uh, uh, well, there's there's a don't it, believe me. The tracker's for me. So okay. don't. Yeah. They, if they're citizens or whatever, they're not getting involved in a gunfight. Okay. Well, half aim. Uh, I'm within short range. Uh, stand, uh, half aim, and I'm going to fire a burst with that las gun on the highest setting. Oh, so you've moved it into the fun zone. You're like. Doo -doo 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 you know yes yeah, yeah all right Aim for now, spicy white ah oh, i wish you to taste the rainbow god i wish we could get polish drone strike into 40k i had polish i had like 
Pulls he does want to join Team of Annihilation on Sundays. Yes. I was like, if, if someone dies twice, he can come in. If you have to get Polish in there, he's like, I am a wizard. <laughs> Great. So Uriah just like sticks the last gun. It's like, pew, 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 and he anticipates the recoil because that's all he shot so far. Yeah. And it just it hits the wall instead. Yeah. So you you manage to shoot a las gun for the first time in your life, and you're like, wow, this is really cool. I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's yeah. cool. So you know, you do feel better for that. All right. Well, that's my turn. All right. Uh, next is Griglak, son of Griglak. You, you, your friend dodged out of the way of a very large man portable bang stick. And, uh, on the other side of your friend, you see an angry beat to shit someone in armor who looks like they're intent on murder. If only there was someone with a sword nearby. Griglak charge. Can we assume Griglak can charge? Or yeah, I'm, things? you can charge through your friend. He knows to oh. get out of your way. He, he is well acquainted yeah. with I'm, your... I'm already out of the way <laughs> yeah. of dodging. Yeah, and... It, um, ah! And then right through your hobo cloak comes another hobo that's bigger <laughs> with a <the> sword. <laughs> okay, so I do have swift attack. Does that work with a charge or not? And just make sure the modifier is 20. You should be rolling under 77. Jesus. But I want to do a swift attack. You can't do swift attack if you're charging. You can half move up to him and then swift attack, but you're not getting a bonus. That's a bunch of bullshit. Well, um, you did 14. You did it by one point. (laughs) There you go. You hit him once. unless you got got a fury on it. Yeah, you did Righteous Fury, and you just, you, you, (laughs) okay. So the guy pulls the shot, bam. Deputy cartwheels out of the way, does the finger guns back at him or the Krieg equivalent, and then Grig- a cartwheel. Yeah, and then <laughs> Griglank charges in with a sword and just runs him through. It's just right through the body, and it just goes right through him, and Griglank picks him up off the ground and roars a battle roar and shakes the body off, and it just goes splat. The guy is dead. He is just motionless and fucking dead. You killed a oh, cop. On his you killed a fed. Griglack yeah. slip. There. I put a little scully. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, he's... <laughs> I've been blowing up the other bodies that you use, you blow up with grenades just to kind of point out that there's nothing left that you can loot because it's filled with metal. <laughs> <laughs> this man, so. Yeah. Um, so, ah, Jesus. All right. So um, these guys come spilling out and uh, they, they, were, they look like they're trying to flee. However, they see <laughs> you and one tries to run the other way. <laughs> Unfortunately for them, there's no escape windows on the south side of the building. Quinn, you're up. Uh, I will walk up, let myself in, and uh, just, I'm not going to use anything. I'm just going to shoot my long lies at him. The closest one, it's like, how you guys doing back there? <laughs> you just yell that awkwardly, and they're like, what? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, I divine shots of free action. I'll just roll for that. That looks like it manifests. No phenomena. Oh, perfect. And right on the mount I needed too. So Manifest. I just I just shoot my <laughs> long lies and it does this damage to wherever I want it. So uh, I have to roll until it hits because it has to do the damage. Oh, I'll just do the modifier like 50. There you go. Oh, All right. it's Righteous 13, Fury. Right, so 14 energy right through the guy's head. Go okay. Right Oh. I don't, I, divine shot, does that allow you to pick your location? I would think it does. So yeah, if you just pop his head right. Okay, yeah. He, his head explodes. He, he hears you yell like, hey, you guys, da da da. And he's like, what? And it's just hey, like, yeah, it, it does the Gallagher head thing where it's like, you know, just <laughs> people in the front row. If this was a movie, people in the front row would need a like protective layer of tarp. <laughs> it's just gross. Yeah, it's the uh, head explosion from scanners. Oh, what a what a head explosion, huh? Oof. All right. So, um, let's see. Yeah, you've just managed to drill a guy with military equipment. Um, that guy's not going anywhere. All right, Ricky. Uh, you hear uh, all sorts of cra- crazy chaos has gone down at the end of the end of the hallway. Right in my yeah. turn, I'll be like, "It's me, the Chromanovan. Anyone looking for me?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's 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 gonna peek outside the door here. Oh, hey, Ricky. 
and uh, he's trying to see what's going on down there. You see two guys real- standing at the end of the hallway with guns that are not your friend? No, I see Greg Glack back there, though, so I'm not going to try to... Like, he, he's not going to try to shoot at Greg Glack. Uh, That's fair. He knows that if he fires from this distance, he's going to probably hit him. He's basically going to be like... Uh, looking over at Quinn. He's like, oh yeah, there's a guy under the table shot him in the leg. He's over there crying. <laughs> it's just some guy that's like, <laughs> It's horrible. Yeah, he's just like, you want me to shoot him again? The, the, the deal was no one leaves the place alive. Right. So he uh, he goes back into this room looking for, you know, more bad guys. But as he's walking <laughs> over this way, and he's not running, he's walking. Of course. He's walking over this way. He turns around like this way while he's looking. Uh, just shoots the guy into the table and continues looking, <laughs> looking for more people. Oh, damn. Oh god. Uh, what a yeah, let's see if that that hits because he's. This is just a simple shot. God. Uh, it kind of reminds me of that movie, um, Leon the Professional. <laughs> the guy's walking through that house with a sh- shotgun. Would that be would that be point blank? Yeah, that's point blank range. I mean, you're you're just trying to dab on unarmed civilians and shoot them now. So yeah, yeah. Just, I try. Yeah. yeah, just go. Yeah. So the guy walking. who's like sitting there with a the leg, he's like, ah, 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 and you're like, and you just keep walking. Left leg again. <laughs> yeah, you, you shot him right through the same leg hole, and it caused him ah. so much trauma he died. Well done, improbable shot, and horrifying. Good job. Yeah, and yeah, he's just coming over here to to kind of lean up against this door, really, waiting for the next thing to happen. Well said. Is it a hallway, or is this like some kind of weird? It's it's kind of weird. Um, it's it's basically two apartments that are back to back. So there's like a oh. walk-in closet, a bathroom, and then a master bedroom, and then it's mirrored on the other side. Okay. Yeah. So oh. yeah, he's just yeah. I can see through the mirror. That's why. Oh, all right. Shouldn't be able to. Yeah, he's well too. Can you imagine if you had a shared bathroom that was like a po- opposite another apartment, and you could see the other people's bathroom? Like it was the light you see. It. Yeah, it wasn't like it's not a mirror; it's a window. Like they put that in on accident. So you're like sitting there taking a shit, and you see someone come in and the brush their teeth, and you're like, "Ew!" <laughs> <laughs> it's one way glass. Oh, that's horrible. Next is Victor Von Vogt. Mr. Von Vogt! So I've got these two fine gentlemen here in front of Gerklack. The door is just blown apart. <laughs> mm-hmm. <coughs> All right. Um, I'll take a shot at the closest one with my long glass. Through the gap between Griglack and the wall. All right. So you just... <laughs> let him yeah, have it. This is plus 20 for point blank. Yeah, it's... Yeah. This is this All is right. eight damage left arm. Ooh, ow! All right, gentleman appears to have already been damaged. Yeah, so um, he's he's pretty much in op. The last guy, the last guy says, "Fuck this!" puts the pistol in his mouth and pulls the trigger. Oh, oh come on! Keep one alive, maybe. Our our guy in front of group likes alive. Yeah, he's alive just barely. No, no. for long. Combat really. has <laughs> ended. Uh, combat end when Griglax take <laughs> He's like, say my name. And he's like, what? And he just runs him through? <laughs> I wa- as I walk up to this guy, before he tries to pull a gun or anything on himself, I do muscle spasm. Oh, yeah. That make him be able to, like, pull a gun on himself or shoot us easier. I figured he'd be pretty an op. <laughs> yeah. He's he's fucked up. That guy is barely hanging on to life. He is just a mass of wounds. Oh shit. All right, I'm gonna try to stabilize a Medicaid check. Oh what modifiers? You, you need the practice. Do you have yeah. it well, no, no modifiers. Just I do have your the best. Power. Hey, that's all awesome. of success. Wow. All right. He is he is stabilized. Yeah. Yay, he should restrict, live man. as long as we need him to. He should live as long as you allow him. Alright. All right, whatever we need to do, let's make it quick. Yeah, Who's um... Who's Batman? Hmm? Who's this gentleman through the doorway? Uh, I've it's, opened the door. It's just some guy sitting there trying to hide under his desk, and he's like, Take whatever the one, what the fuck? Ah! 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 Duly noted. And I'll close the door. We'll deal with him in a second. <laughs> All right. 
Are, are you going to just go door to door? <laughs> yes. Okay, you find much the same <laughs> case. Knock, bang, bang. <laughs> you find much the same case, except for this first door where you find a smoking crater and a pair of mm. house shoes. <laughs> <laughs> You surprised someone I watching The Price is Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> Gotta break a few eggs, make that omelet. <laughs> um, right. let's yeah, let's let's check the uh, south. So you found you basically find out that the door, the place that uh, Rich City kicked the door in, was kind of like an early warning area with a guy that was supposed to be watching the door but wasn't. And he had the local muscle doing it. Um, however, in this mm -hmm. room over here in the southwest that the arbitrator and everyone else is, you find the room has been sanitized. A lot of the stuff has been removed. However, you find in the corner three metal boxes that look like they were once belonged in a bank. Ah, yes. Excellent. Somebody wants the dog to stop. As well, um, you find a letter that is located on the table. We will seize these items. Well, and then I'm going to go out and I'm going to start digging through the arbiter's shit. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Did you, I'm going to take the letter from you because I like to read it. got a letter. Wonder <laughs> who it comes. <laughs> but yeah, there, there's a letter on the table. Remember, All right. Are you going to... Uh, Lower high gothic. All right, no, it's yeah. I, I I know I know that this game is above my head. Yeah, so it it says um, <laughs> letters. People don't write letters in languages I can read. Same writing <laughs> as the coin letter. Same handwriting, same scrawl, and as someone it's from, from oh, someone from a high level world would know this, because of the slight motions of penmanship. This is written. By someone who has a very evolved sense of power hierarchy. <laughs> it says security for main operation is for five more weeks. Handle the side business swiftly. Once your bounty is done, supervise offloading to work teams, then sanitize all involved. Know your place. So it doesn't really tell us anything. No, or but maybe no. this man might, I say, as I put my hole, my finger in one of the holes in him. Oh, God. Uh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Uh, yeah, the guy is screaming incoherently, and he, he goes, we were hired. Yeah. For yeah. well, what? Well, you well they it, that that I'm going to do a quick science science first. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, science science, you Seven don't. degrees. You don't detect anything, but you feel very strangely. That you are being watched right now. Oh. That eyes are upon you. Okay, so gentlemen, we cannot take him fifth for the interrogation because we took the bus. So <laughs> I know, just message me, hi, Diggs. Yeah, I know he's watching me. Uh, can I take a quick look around and see if there's any obvious cameras in the room? Sure. Uh, you know what? Give me another sign of science check. Nice. 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 Uh, I'm gonna use a fade to drop. Do one more, cause I want to know. This ain't a camera. What is it? This is somebody using the warp to watch you. You son of a bitch. Well, yeah, they use a psyker against us at the bridge. Remember? I'm psyker. <laughs> You're like, I'm the only one allowed to do this. I have an okay letter. This is outrageous. So, my question, I guess, of the evening is, I know you're going to tear through the arbitrator shit, take all the evidence, and run, but my yes. question for you is, what are you going to do with a live one? Okay, I'm going to kneel over him as he's laying there, recovering from what I just did to him. Yeah. And be like, sir, I do not have the time nor the inclination to do this properly, so right. tell me what you know, and I'll make it quick. He goes... <laughs> Because we were hired at the starport. Simple job. Grab the chrome and oven. Some sort of blood feud. Off world. Don't care. Quick pay. Quick money. Guy's supposed to be a pushover. Ah. Uh, all right. 38 um, out of 46. Was that everything he's got for me? That is sadly everything he's got. Other than what he was paid, which he's not willing to really discuss. That's rude, you know. I alive enough. To, you know what? If, if they have any of the pay on it, just take it for yourselves because that's like a bonus for you guys helping me out. All right. 
On top I'll, of that, before, I'll do what I said. I'll uh, I'll put a bullet in him. All right. So just. How, yeah. Oh God. Okay. So Uriah's standing there as he comes out of the room, and as you like drop the guy in the face, <laughs> Uriah gets blood spattered. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You'll How land in better on the bus. <laughs> oh, really quickly, I don't know if this can do anything because uh, dowsing. It allows me to single out a single object in my vicinity, pushing the side all, uh, like finding it, and I can use it to kind of like, I want to know what the key is. I want to know where the locket, like you know, yeah, I can yeah, find a person that has something to do with it. So, if I can sense some kind of warp eyes on me. Can I attempt a dowsing channel to see if I can? All right, you know what? I, I like yeah. this. I like this idea. So, room, I reach in and grab my contingency pan and uh, plan, which is like this really shitty fucking dagger. Yeah, I but you made it yourself, first. and that's why yeah, I know yeah. I, it's still like the most pathetic thing on me, and I'm very pathetic. And I focus on it to, to do invocation. All right, man. Okay, I, now I got double, which is auto ten. So I just I'm just gonna roll one dice. Which is exactly what I needed. Because no, that would have been plus 10. Yeah, so I totally be 11 needed for dowsing. All right. As you I'm guys. See if I can get any information on who's looking at me. As you guys plan to grab what you can to the arbitrator shit and run from the crime scene to go catch the bus as, you, as your pathetic first day off in months goes, <laughs> your psyker finds the time to do a quick dowsing invocation. And you find yourself seeing the world almost like on an astral plane. You see the shadows of men as their souls, light or dark, heavy or fat or thin. You look around and you are certainly well aware of a wider world around you, the eddies of the warp bleeding through, the little skeins of fate being measured and cut. And as you look toward Magna City, the downtown, you see a set of eyes blazing and watching you from the high rise. And you hear in your ears, hello there. I think we'll end here for tonight.